Okay, today we have Professor Christian Wurster and his student Niels Ladika. Thank you so much for coming to be here, Chris and Niels. And they published a paper entitled Meta Organisms in Extreme Environment. Do microbes play a role in organismal, organismal adaptation? Okay, Chris, please explain to us what uh, meta organisms are. Yeah, first of all, thanks for having us. Yeah, mm -hmm. so uh, meta organisms, I, I think, is a very new and exciting concept. Basically, it um, puts bacteria at the forefront. So rather than uh, traditionally we think of bacteria as a contamination in your experiment, mm -hmm. now we kind of, there's more and more research that makes us understand that bacteria are actually very okay. important for um, animals and plants alike to, mm -hmm. to function in a regular context. Mm -hmm. So I think the um, the biggest example of this is this human gut microbiome mm -hmm. that yes. we have bacteria in our guts and they help us digest food and there's a lot of um, um, cross-linking to mm -hmm. our health state and to disease states and so on. So we essentially apply this concept mm -hmm. and um, use it to understand um, um, the organisms we work with. Mm -hmm. And um, maybe Niels, you want to comment on why extreme environments are important in this regard? Yeah. So. Extreme environments are extremely good in identifying potential function of microorganisms because extreme environments as such pose a challenge to the metabolic repertoire of host organisms like metazoans, for example. And we can just look outside at the Red Sea, for example, where we have very abundant, high biomass coral reefs mm -hmm. in a very nutrient poor environment. And they're dominated by an animal, which is flourishing in an environment which is basically deprived of any mm -hmm. nutrient source for this animal and mm -hmm. still they flourish and mm -hmm. so we can look at the me uh, mechanisms how these animals do it and we can see that in this case they found an algae living inside the tissue that can provide them with an energy source in the absence of other energy sources. I see. So we can re look at the mechanisms how adaptation mm -hmm. in cooperation with other organisms helps. This paper is a kind of a review paper, a perspective paper. Yeah. And uh, I was impressed with the last p part of your paper stating about the future study in other planet than <laughs> the Earth. Could you tell us a little bit about that? <laughs> well, first of all, if you consider extreme environments, then I think extra uh, or out of Earth would be the most extreme environment we can think of, right? And then we, we thought about how, how we would go about this. Um, do you want to mm -hmm. lay this out further? And so, I mean, like, meta-organisms and extreme environments are a good way of understanding where is life possible in other environments, because we have a very narrow mindset of, like, we need oxygen, we need all these kinds of parameters to understand, and then we have life, but, I mean, in evolution of meta-organisms, we've always dealt with extreme environments and they've overcome all these challenges. So looking at how meta-organisms adapt to new extreme environments, we can then identify what is possible in terms of new environments to find life. And so we can basically conclude that given the diversity of life, any environment is habitable. So yeah, just to briefly expand on that, if you go back any environment that we essentially deemed hostile, mm -hmm. right? So mm -hmm. no light, no oxygen, mm -hmm. whatever, you name it, mm -hmm. sooner or later somebody found bacteria that actually make a living yes. there, yes. right? So for example, what we have here again, the, the, the brine pools mm -hmm. that are 70 degrees hot, they mm -hmm. are completely no oxygen, heavy metal, mm -hmm. so you would see mis nobody actually wants to live there but then you go there and there's a bunch of bacteria in archaea right. so that's the idea that in these environments really bacteria mm -hmm. enable other organisms to live there yeah. and um, that we have to expand our scope on what we actually um, deem hospital hospitable environments mm -hmm. so that's the idea that you yes. actually really need to look at these bacteria in order to infer what else can live mm -hmm. there oh, really interesting yeah. Okay, thanks so much today. Thank you. Thanks for having us.